Hey guys, Socket here. Today we're going to continue on with our PC tool uh, tutorials. This is number three in the series. So in the first couple of videos we looked at downloading, setting up uh, the software and a bit of a quick tour. Uh, for the videos going forward we're going to look at each of the features in the software and, and dive into the details. So today's, uh, today's tutorial is going to be on file management uh, including saving and loading files, that type of thing. So those controls can be found up here in the upper left part of the screen on the, uh, on the software header. Um, so you might be working on your tune and you know, making some changes and things like this. And so the first thing that you'll notice is that um, there's a little orange light here on the Save Store button. What that indicates is that the file uh, has had changes made to it since it was last saved. So uh, this can quickly indicate whether you had the most current version of your tune saved or whether you need to save it. So um, we will click on the Save Store to save this file and you'll get this window pop up um, which will ask, well, which memory slot do you want to save this file to? Now, the fact that we're in demo mode, it only provides us with one slot, but if you're connected to your DSP, you will have up to 10 slots and you can select the slot that you want to uh, save the file to. Um, in our case, there's only one, so we're going to save that. It then brings up um, your default, which is your documents, if you're using Windows. Um, and a default file name which you can then call whatever you like. In my case I'm just going to call it demo and, uh, and save that. So now you'll see the file name up here in slot 1 and I can add a note to that um, by clicking on the little note icon which says uh, you know test test tune for, uh, uh, for video right? or whatever it is that you like. Um, so you'll notice now that because I've now saved that file the little red light has turned off and if I make another change such as adding another EQ band oh, the lights back on again so um, there is a function here this little box at the top here called overwrite if I click that um, I can save and store without going in and changing the file name again so if I now click that you will see that the light has gone off again to indicate that um, the most current version with all the changes have been stored. So this overwrite function is handy if you're doing a lot of work and you know you want to save periodic periodically without having to go into um, uh, go through the documents and typing a new file name and doing all that stuff all the time. So to load up a file uh, it's really very simple so you click on load you um, uh, go to wherever your files are saved. In my case, it's just the default document folder. And for example, I might want to load a tune I was working on earlier. Um, so I'll open that. And then you'll get a, um, a window pop up which asks you whether what features you want to load up. So um, when you're saving your files, not only does it save your tuning characteristics such as your EQ and timing and crossover slopes and things like that, but it also saves all the configuration information relating to your um, to the setup on your PC tool software. So for example, um, uh, your remote control, you know, if, if you set up a conductor or a director or um, your ACO features, you know, if you set extra timing for turn on and stuff like that, not only is your tune but your configuration information is saved each time in your file. So this pop-up is asking um, asking you whether you want to load up um, those that configuration parts or just selected parts of your configuration to overwrite whatever settings that you currently have on the PC tool screen that you've got open. So um, this can be a bit tricky if you've got a very old tune and you've made changes to your configuration files. You might um, uh, you might leave all of these unchecked and just load your uh, tune files. Um, but normally you would uh, just click on, yep, I want them all. Or a quicker way to do that would be to click on this load all 
um, section and bingo you'll see that uh, this file is now loaded with all the configuration for the PC tool software along with it so um, that is basically loading and saving files uh, there's also a function in this window that we touched on during the software tour uh, where you can look at all the different uh, tunes that you've got stored in the various memory slots and you can rename them or load them up or delete them um, and manage your the files in your memory presets uh, here in this window um, so that uh, is another way to you know load up files that you've got um, stored away but it only it only shows the 10 files that you've actually got stored in in um, memory slots you might have 30 preset files stored on your uh, you know in your document section but um, you know these are the ones that you can access that are actually stored in your memory um, memory slots so uh, that's a very quick rundown of the uh, file management save and store functions um, I hope that was useful uh, once again if you've got any questions please pop them down in the comments otherwise thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video